previously on Heartland. I have big plans for that horse. He could even go as far as the Olympics someday. Do you want to be a part of that? So I don't think you've been completely honest with me. I am broke. People aren't buying expensive horses like they used to, so I'm having a hard time keeping my business afloat. I've decided to quit Extreme Team. Good. I want us to go all the way. I want to go to the Olympics. Let's give it a try. You had a new patient. <laughs> when did the wolf arrive? She got dropped off yesterday. Well, it came out easy enough. Luckily, we missed all the vitals. Sorry, I wasn't here to help. Yeah. Well, it's all good. So you got your hands full? <laughs> <laughs> this call, man, is seriously out of control. This is the third wolf I've stitched up in as many months. Aerial gunning. Trigger happy idiots. And it's legal. Makes me crazy. Remember Jonah, my buddy from vet school? Yeah. He's a good guy. Well, he's out in BC rescuing wolves, going through the same crap. No way. Give me a second. Yeah. Hello. Mm. Yeah, speaking. Mm. Uh, yeah. No, I'd love to meet with you. When's good? OK, I'll see you then. That was a guy from the Reagan sanctuary. Alan Shore. They got a herd of Mongolian horses. You're kidding. Yeah. It's weird, right? They want to ship a stud back to Mongolia. So why'd they call you? I don't know. I guess maybe they heard about my experience in Mongolia and think I have some connections. Right. So go. I got this guy covered. Are you sure? Yeah, it's cool. No thanks to your dad, huh, Lindy? All right, take it easy. I'll catch you later. Double oxer. If I knock it down at Okotoks, Val will disown me. No, you just need more practice. It's gonna be fine. Hey, you have been wired to your phone all morning. Maybe that's why you're knocking rails. Sorry, I'm nervous. But what? Wyatt gets in today. Oh, right. What am I supposed to say? His dad passed away. I don't know how to act. His family is gonna be living with Casey. It's gonna be so awkward. It's okay. You'll know what to do. Hey. How's my little princess? Well, she's doing good. I missed you. How were all the animals, huh? Well, she was pretty fascinated with the baby llamas. Yes, I would be too. <laughs> so I got a pretty interesting call today. How would you feel about going to check out some authentic Mongolian horses? I would love to. Yeah? Yeah, but I was going to stay with her all afternoon. I can look after Lindy. You sure? Yeah, Lisa's here too, so there she'll help out. Okay. okay. She probably needs changing, just so you know. Like I said, Lisa's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Thanks, Georgie. No problem. Come on. <laughs> she 
Kowalski horses. Ancient Mongolian stock. The only horses in the world that are truly wild. Really? But they're a dying breed. And that's what we're trying to change. That's Attila. These are the stud horses ready to be rehomed. But the company that was arranging Attila's transport chose a really bad time to go out of business. Mm. So I spoke to Scott Cardinal, and he told me all about your work in Mongolia. I figure you can advise me on the best way to transport Attila from Roland Batter to his destination in the steppes. Well, I have some contacts there that could definitely arrange that. Real trustworthy guys. Sounds good. All right. Hey, boy. There is one more problem, and it's a big one. The whole point of breeding these horses is to airlift a stud back to Mongolia. But we keep them as free and as wild as possible while they're here. And as a result, they're very wary of any human interference. Well, that'll help when he gets back to Mongolia. Yeah, but getting them there is another thing entirely. Attila's the first one to be shipped out, and we've been trying to get him used to this. It's a mock-up, but it's the same kind of crate he'll travel in on the plane. But so far, well, we'll see. Bring him in. trust you if you keep forcing him in there. Look, Alan, I can make the transport arrangements, but there's no point if we can't keep the horse in the crate. Amy here has worked with wild horses before. And if anyone can do this, she can. You don't know wild until you work with these guys. This is a whole different category of wild. <laughs> Has he ever been in a stall? No, never. What about on a trailer? Once, when he was brought here. He hated it, but he hated that crate even more. Well, it's probably because the crate's a lot smaller and more restricted. No, oh, maybe, but... I know, I'm starting to think that the only solution here is to sedate him with the proper cocktail of drugs. I would strongly advise against that. It's a long trip to Ulaanbaatar, and when the sedation wears off, he could injure himself trying to get out of that crate. It's a huge risk. If we were able to trailer him, we could bring him to Heartland, and I could spend some time working with him. I can't promise anything, but I could try to get him used to coming in and out of the crate. It's probably the only way to do this without risking sedation. And like I said, Amy does have a way. Fine. But I'll be checking in. I'll get the trailer hitched. OK. Right, don't let me stop you. I didn't know you could ride like that. That's that's awesome. Hi. Hi to you too. So you you and this horse. Wow. Yeah, we have a big show coming up. That's really cool. When when's your show? Like, can I go? Yeah, yeah, if you want.
Wow. <laughs> Wyatt. I'm really sorry about your dad. How are you? Uh, I'm awesome. I'm really good. I'm great. I just got into town, and you were the first Hudsonite I wanted to see, so here I am. And, uh, how are you? Of course I understand. It's just, while it's only lunch, you do what you have to do. Yeah, all right, but... Did Lisa cut out on you again? How many times has it been this week? Well, she's been pretty busy lately. I haven't seen a lot of her, that's true. Well, at least she's here. Casey's been in Calgary for a month, helping her sister-in-law. I barely get to say two words to her. Casey lost a brother. Losing a sibling is one of the hardest things in the world. How's she doing? She's fine. You know Casey, she's strong. I miss her. Come on by for dinner tonight. Well, the empty nest getting to you, Jack? <laughs> wow. If he hates the trailer that much, I wonder he can't stand the crate. You think you can cool him off a bit? Yeah. You told Alan I could. Thanks for that, by the way. <sighs> it's OK. Easy. Hey. Hey. Good thing you're here. Lisa has an appointment. Yeah, she texted me. Hey, Wyatt. Um, this is my husband, Ty. Hi. Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Amy and I were sorry to hear about your dad. <laughs> is this one of the horses? Yeah, you should check him out. I'm going to go see our daughter. Just keep your distance, though, OK, guys? Yeah, he's pretty unpredictable. So that's it for practicing, right? What do you want to do? Watch the horse. Can't do staring contests. Just got a text, Casey. She's supposed to meet me here any minute. Oh, hey, they're here. Here. Hi. Hey. Mm. Hey. Oh. How you doing? I missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. Hi, Jen. Hey, Jack. This is my sister-in-law, Jen. Pleasure to meet you, Jen. I'm real sorry about your loss. Thank you. Rick, sweetie, getting out? Come on. Hey, maybe we could get a milkshake. Hey there. My name's Jack Bartlett, but you know what? You can call me Jack. <laughs> yeah, listen. Why don't all of you come to the ranch tomorrow and I'll make us lunch? We would love that. It sounds great. We'll see you then. What about tonight? I wanted to have dinner with you tonight. No, I'm sorry. I just. You can't just drop them off and leave on their first night. They need taken care of, you know? Right. OK. Well, who's taking care of you? We'll worry about that later. Glad you're back. Mm. Me too.
Hey, Attila. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but did you call Bob, though? He's busy, I know, but I just saw him today. He'd be game. OK. Well, we'll talk soon. I was watching you out there. That was pretty close, Amy. You worry too much. It was on the phone. That was a guy named Jonah. He's a friend of Bob's from vet school. They're dealing with this call out in BC. Wolves are being wounded, just left to die. They're working 24-7 just trying to treat them all. That call has gone way too far. Yeah. He actually asked me to come out and help, but, but I just told him to call Bob. I'm gonna go out to the reserve tomorrow and I'm gonna mention it to him then. Where's Georgie? Well, hanging out with Wyatt, I guess. What about Lisa? Where's Lisa? Said she had an appointment. Can we just eat? Wait. You really are a lonely guy, Jack. Everything okay with you and Lisa? Yes, everything is just fine. Will you stop digging at me? Pretty good on my own. In fact, I'm great on my own. There she is. Hi. OK, let me set a plate for you. No, I can't stay for dinner. I'm just picking up some files. I've got a crazy early appointment at Fairfield tomorrow, so I'm just prepping. When Casey told me her brother, your dad, was really sick, I I texted you, but you, did you yes. not get it? No, or? no, I did, sorry. Uh, I got it. it, yeah, sorry. I just, it was kind of like crazy. Um. No, it, it's okay, you don't have to apologize. I, believe me, I, I understand what you're going through. You can talk to me. Talk to you about what? I don't know, sometimes it helps to talk. Why? You gotta admit, you're acting kind of weird. Like, nothing ever even happened. No, it happened. It happened. There was a funeral. I was there. Wanna know something? Funerals are hilarious. Cause, like, all these people show up and come up to you and they wanna say something to you about, your, you know, your dad. They don't even really know him. They just wanna be involved, right? It's all just fake. Phony. I think funerals are important. They help people, you know, grieve. I grieved. I grieved when I found out that my dad was terminal. That's when I grieved. But that's, it's done, it's over, and I'm over it. Quiet. No, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Wyatt, wait. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, so lunch, right? Well, oh, right, yes. Yeah, it, it's it's with Jen, remember? Yes, I, I know, I remember. Lisa, hold on. Yes? What is going on? What? I'm, 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 I'm fine. I just have a lot on my mind. A few weeks back, you came clean to me about, well, you know, some of the problems that you're dealing with financially. Yeah? 
Well, I told you then that I was with you, that you could tell me stuff, but now you won't even talk about it, and you're avoiding me. I'm not avoiding you. I just, I, I don't want to bother you with it. You're not bothering me. Even if I can't help you, I can at least listen. I need to do that. I need you. I'm missing you. <laughs> really? I mean, I thought you were doing fine on your own. Great, in fact. Isn't that what you just said to Tim? Sorry, I have to... Looking good. Nice work. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> hey, did Jonah get a hold of you yet? Jonah? Yeah. No, why? Oh, uh, because I was talking to him yesterday. You talked to Jonah? Yeah, he needs some backup. Wait, he needed help, so he called you? Weird how you're the one getting all the calls these days. Come on, man. You're the flavor of the month. You know that, right? What am I, the guy who got to go to Mongolia with Dr. Tyborg? Very funny, OK? I told him to call oh, you. You told him to call me. He didn't think of it himself. Bob, just call him. Why should I? I'm into being someone's second choice. Let him call me. Here's the crate. Awesome, thank you. Shh, have you talked to okay. your transport guys over there? I, I have. Everything's coming together. Shh, 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 they're okay. Shh, 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 shh. I know, I know. Look, has there been any progress? We need to set a date for Tilla's travel. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk to Amy. <laughs> Attila seems really focused on our mare in full. Seems so. Alan, there was a mare and foal out in your field. They seemed really agitated when Attila was trailered. Is that his baby? Yeah, it is. See, he seemed to be paying a lot of attention to them, especially the mare. Well, he's a stud. He likes the ladies. Yeah, but I'm not sure it's just that. Is there any way that you could bring them here? <laughs> what? Why? He doesn't want to leave them. He's missing them, and that's why he's resisting us so much. I know it's a long shot, but please bring them here. I think I know what to do now. Fine. I'll bring them, or I'll attempt to. But I don't see how this is going to help. Thanks, Alan. Hey. Hey. Hey, Brick, come on in. Georgie, you coming? Hey. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I have practice. Yeah, Georgie's training. She's got a big show coming up. Come on. Well, you also have to eat. Come on, honey. I can look after Brooke if you want. Do you want to come watch me jump, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Come on. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> Thank you for bringing them here. Well, we had a heck of a time trailering these guys, but here they are. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Well, they're in a great spot there. I've moved all the other Heartland horses away so that there won't be any displays of jealousy. Well, they're all yours, for whatever it's worth. Hey, Tilla. It's OK. They're here now. You want to finish your practicing and then, like, go into town or something? I told you, I can't. I have a huge show this weekend. If I don't do well, I'm going to lose the opportunity to ride this horse. Well, excuse me for taking you away from such an important mission. 
I moved to Hudson, and now you don't even have the time of day for me. That's nice, really nice, but I get it. No, I, I don't think you do. Can we just talk? Like last night, like that kind of talk, because no offense, but I can really do without that. All I want to do is help you. Like when you helped me with Adam. How? Because of what you said. You told me to reach out to him, I did, and now we're friends. Great, that's awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that I could help you like that. Look, I'm sorry. I don't need your sympathy, okay? I don't want your sympathy. Can you stop grabbing me? Go, go find your mom or something. Rick, I'll see you in the house, okay? How are the kids doing? Uh, everyone is fine. Wyatt is in total denial and Brick is regressing, so fun times. Mm, you're handling things really well. Thank you. I admire you, Jen. It's obvious that you're bearing up. I try to keep a smile on my face for the kids. But you gotta laugh or you probably just cry all the time. Seriously, though, it's, uh, it's insane how the unexpected can just be around the corner, you know? I mean, you go along thinking everything is fine, and then, bam, it's just not. Anything can happen. Even to a beautiful 39-year-old man who was in perfect health this time last year. Whew, so deep thought warning. <laughs> Don't take anything for granted. Lesson learned. And on that note, that concludes this topic of conversation. Here you go, Attila. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be afraid of. You can see them, they're right there. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Smart. He knows that the crate means leaving his family. That means saying goodbye to them. Is there any way that they could go with him? No. It's too dangerous for the fold to travel that far. It's best just to make the break. Hey, Jonah. Listen, man, I, you know I'd love to help you out, but I can't. Have you called Bob? Well, uh, maybe he didn't get the message. You should try again. I don't need time to think it over, man. I've, I've made up my mind. Weird looking horses. They're Mongolian. The sire, that one there, is being shipped back to breed. He's going through some pretty severe separation anxiety right now. Yeah, I get that. You know, Wyatt, for what it's worth, I lost my mom when I was a little bit younger than you are now. Grief is a weird thing. You know, it, it goes away, but then it comes back sometimes when you least expect it. I miss my mom even more now that I have a daughter of my own. And I realize what that love is between a parent and their child. It's a scary thing. You'd do anything for your kid. Mm. My dad did everything for me, no matter what. And your mom will, too. Jen's not my mom. She, my mom just disappeared when I was six. She just walked out. Jen's my stepmom. Seen Brick? Brick! 
I pushed the little guy away when he was just trying to get my attention. It's like literally reaching out for me. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're going through a lot of crap right now, and you need to come to terms with that, but not right now. Rick! Rick! Oh, I've been worried about him for months now. It's like he's completely withdrawn. He hasn't spoken a word since Curtis died. Oh, terrible mother. Why didn't I just keep an eye on him? We're going to find him. We will, Jen. Rick! OK, I just saw your face what? there. What? What is going on? I mean it. OK. Do you really want to know what's happening? Yes, I want to know. OK, so my house in France, I had rented it to a couple. They walked without payment. So now I am trying to wildly find another tenant. Meanwhile, on top of all that, I've been trying to sell my best breeder, and that is not going well. Fell through. So all in all, this has been a pretty horrible week. I don't want to talk about it. There you go again. Well, yes, there I go again, because nobody wants to hear these dumb problems. I don't even want to hear them. We're married, aren't we? Married people hear each other's problems. Listen. OK, fine. Listen to each other's problems. No, no. Listen. Brick, is that you in there? It's Jack. Your mom, she's pretty scared right now, and so is Wyatt. I get why you ran away. I know you're hurting. That's when you need your family the most, when things aren't going too well. I think we should let your mom and your brother know that you're OK, don't you? I think that's a good idea, so they can stop worrying? Let's go back to the house now. What do you say? Good to see you. See your family, they're right there. I have an idea. Ty, could you pass me Lindy's blanket? Good job. Good job. You like that, don't you? <laughs> you see, Mama? Doesn't hurt. It's okay. There you go. Attila, what's this smell like? That smell like your family? There you go. Impressive. One step forward. I'll give Alan a call and tell him the good news. Yeah, I guess it's good news. The thought of him leaving his mare in full is brutal. I can't imagine being separated from our baby. It's hard enough just doing everyday work. Yeah, I know that. I feel that way every time I leave for the clinic or Bob's. We're just going to have to learn how to balance it all. You know that job in BC? You should take it. 
Lindy is in a routine now, Ty, and I can tell how much you want to help Jonah. We'll be fine. Come here. Ready. It's okay, Georgie. No one ever feels ready. The only good thing is that Val texted me. She thinks she's going to be out of town for the show, so at least she won't be there to see me mess up. Because if that double oxer is on my course at the show, I'm dead. The double oxer combination. It's the last combo on the course. I can't believe it. And it's on this crazy angle. It's OK, Georgie. We practiced it. You're going to be fine. Just make sure that you angle sharply coming towards it, and you'll be totally set up. Let's go walk the course. What's the point? Hey, Georgie. That was Grace Allenby riding suit with a time of one minute. 10 seconds, no falls. And that is the time to beat. Val's here. Yeah, I see her. I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna be fine. Just remember to breathe. And next up okay. is Georgie Fleming right, Morris riding right. plane. <sighs> Hey. We're going to BC to help Jorah. Great. Good for you. He said he tried to call you. He did. I ignored his calls. Why? Well, I can't. I'm 24 7 with that guy. Listen, Bob, I talked to Scott. He said he can keep an eye on the wolf. We're a team, Bob. We're a good team. I need you to come with me. All right. Sounds like a plan. Just don't get sick again, all right? You're a real drag when you're sick. to a bit of a decision. I've been coping with a lot lately. I know. And I have been pushing you away, and I'm sorry, because I do need you. I do need our talks, and I need your hugs, and I need to know that you're beside me at night. So I was wondering if Maybe I could move in with you? 
That sounds terrific. Yeah? Oh, good. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like your family, doesn't it? It's gonna be right here with you, I promise. It's okay. You're fine. Hey. I know you don't wanna leave your family. I understand. But it's gonna be okay. And they'll be fine. I promise you. I promise you, I will check on them. It's okay. It's okay. blanket in there when you trailer him and when you transport him in the crate. It's got the mare and foal scent on it and it'll keep him calm. It's the most natural form of tranquilizer ever. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. I really want to thank you, both of you, for your patience and your hard work. Our pleasure. Thanks for trusting us. I'll let you know how it all goes. Oh, and